Hey everyone, my name is Bree Atchman and I'm the PM for ML.NET. Um, if you don't know, ML.NET is the machine learning framework for .NET developers. It's open source and cross-platform. Um, it allows you to build custom models without having a background in data science or machine learning. Um, and you can also stay in the .NET ecosystem and use the tools and languages that you already know. Now that Malibu's not hogging the camera, uh, I'm gonna give a quick demo to show you what the ML.NET team has been working on um, and show you a little sneak peek of what we're gonna do at .NET Conf. Um, some really exciting news, Model Builder is finally gonna GA, which is, uh, if you haven't used Model Builder, it's ML.NET's tooling in Visual Studio. Um, so that's what, what I'm gonna show off here today. For this demo, I'm gonna use ML.NET and Model Builder to build, train, deploy, and consume a machine learning model for predictive maintenance. So say you wanted to automate the predicting when a device is going to need maintenance using sensor data. Um, that's the data set that I have here. You, there's about 10,000 rows, so 10,000 entries of different devices uh, with a product ID, a type, um, some sensor readings such as air temperature, um, the torque, toolware number minutes, the process temperature, rotational speed, and so on. And I'm gonna use these features in order to predict whether a machine is going to fail or not. But I'm gonna do this with a twist. I'm going to try and build, train, deploy, and consume this model in three minutes or less. And I'm gonna put the timer on the screen so you all can follow along and make sure that I can actually do it. So here I have Visual Studio 2022 open, and I've gone ahead and created a new .NET 6 console application. You can see it just prints Hello World out to the console right now. But this is the app that I wanna add machine learning to. So with that, let's start the countdown. And first thing I'm gonna do is right click on my project in the Solution Explorer and add a machine learning model. Here it'll open up the add new item dialog and defaults to machine learning model for ML.NET and I can name it whatever I want. Let's call it machine failure predictor. And once I hit add, it will open up the model builder UI um, as well as create this MB config file that saves the state of the UI. Um, there's a variety of scenarios to choose from, but I wanna predict whether a machine will fail or not. Um, so that's classifying tabular data. So we'll choose data classification. And I'm gonna train locally on my CPU and I'm gonna choose my data set. I can choose it from a file or SQL, from SQL server. I just have it locally. Um, and then I'm gonna choose the machine failure to predict because that's, a, that's I wanna, predict whether a machine will fail or not. So that will be this column right here, zero for no failure, one for failure. And there's a few columns that I really don't need for my prediction and it might actually make my model worse. So I'm gonna go to advanced data options and hit and choose to ignore these columns. Um, so for instance, TWF and HDF and, and all of these, these columns indicate what the failure was. And we don't need that for trying to predict um, whether there was a failure or not. Okay, so from there I'll save my preferences and you can see um, a little preview of the data here to make sure all is good. And so I'm gonna give it 60 seconds to train. As soon as I start training, and you'll see down in the output window, um, automated machine learning or AutoML is being used to iterate through different models. So it's trying out different algorithms, algorithm options, um, different data transformations in order to find the best model. So you'll see a bunch of the different algorithms that are being tried out. And so far in the 20 seconds that it's been training, it's found the, a great model that's about 98%. Let's say I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna hit stop training. And instead of um, having to wait the whole entire time or having to cancel and start over, um, I can just take the model that it's found, so, the best model it's found so far, this Fast Forest OVA model. So I'm gonna go over to evaluate and here it just takes the first row of my data I can try out and predict. Right in the UI, I use my model and it predicts that with these stats it would uh, it's a machine that wouldn't fail, which makes sense for something that probably hasn't been used or hasn't been used. And then I'm gonna go to the consume step. So here, um, what I could do is copy and paste this into the console application, but I actually wanna deploy it as a web API. So I'm going to add the web API to my solution. And you can see it generates all the code that I need. And um, this is the, cons the consumption logic right here, the training code if you wanted to retrain and the actual model file is here. Um, the program.cs is where that uh, prediction route and handler are. So this is one of those minimal web APIs you might have seen. And from here, all I would have to do is right click and publish and walk through to publish it to Azure. And from there, I could use it like any other .NET um, web API. 
as you can see, I'm, that was under three minutes. I know I didn't technically publish it, um, but it would take a few minutes to do publish that to Azure. But at least you can see how easy it is to build, train, deploy, and then use these machine learning models. And I'll, I'll show you real quick how you would use it as well um, locally just to try it out. So I'll change my startup project to uh, the web API and I'll run it. And then once it starts running, we'll give it a try. And of course, I didn't write any code yet. <laughs> so let me, once it starts running, I'll switch over. And this is going to be the um, where the web API is, and we'll call that predict handler and hit send. And there you go. It predicted, this is again, that first row of data here. It predicted, um, it predicted that it, the machine was not a failure with a confidence of 99%. And if we played around with it a bit more, let's add some zeros and try again. You can see this time it predicted um, with pretty high confidence that the machine would, would actually fail. So this demo showed a really simple example. And in the real world, you'd want to understand your problem, um, really dig into your data, um, and be able to explain your model. But for .NET Conf on Wednesday, November 10th, Louise and I will have a session all about ML.NET to talk about the new features and show a really awesome demo in Model Builder. So make sure you tune in.